Hi everyone, welcome back to Tree Kaya Psychology. And with everything going on with P. Diddy, the lawsuits, uh, I've seen some videos of him that I think he displays narcissistic traits. Now, narcissistic personality disorder is a diagnosis and I'm a psychotherapist, I'm not a psychiatrist, so I don't diagnose based on the DSM. Um, so I'm not diagnosing him. However, I mean, if everything that has been alleged is going to be come out as true, then I think, yes, P. Diddy definitely has narcissism and more, you know, sadism, probably, you know, sociopathy and, and more. But um, here are some videos that I've noticed these behaviors really interesting, really concerning. And I'm going to explain to you why I think that these traits show narcissistic symptoms. So here's a video of him um, being interviewed by Ellen DeGeneres. And he's explaining that he has, why he's changed his name to love. And he's actually legally changed his name to love. So let me just play this. No, I, no, I feel it's very important that I clear that up. I decided that I'm just going to go with the name Diddy. Um, but didn't you change it to Love officially? Yes. See, Diddy's my nickname. Uh huh. Love is my real name. Okay. So I just changed my name to Love. Sean Love Combs. That's what it says on my driver's license. That's my official name, Love. How are your organization? So let me just let this ad play out. Um, I find, you know, I find his demeanor actually first really interesting. You know, he starts to, and I've seen him do this in other interviews where he starts to raise his voice, almost like reaching a crescendo. So now I have named myself Love. And just that kind of escalation of tone of voice and building up to something kind of induces the audience to applaud. And it's actually quite a controlling move, right? With the use of tone and the use of grandeur that then the silence, right? Pulls in somebody else to fill the silence. And because he's looking at the audience, he's essentially addressing them to give a response. So they're sort of like forced in a really unconscious way to applause this really wild uh, claim that, you know, he, is naming himself love. So let me get onto that. And this is where I think this is sort of narcissistic because love is an experience. Love is something that is universal. It is not something tangible. It's subtle. It's a part of, you know, many different relationships that one experiences, right? It's very deep. It's very intense. It's very meaningful. And he is taking that word and he's essentially saying, this is who I am. I am essentially, you know, love personified. I am the definition of love. And that is so extremely narcissistic to claim that, you know, because I love so much, I'm just going to be called love. It's very grandiose. And this is something that is very key to narcissists they have a, such a grandiose sense of self that they believe that they are as good as God. They believe that they are, you know, love personified, that they are, you know, kindness personified. They are, that's interesting <laughs> that, you know, it's Ellen on the screen here when I'm talking about kindness. And, but it's extremely grandiose, right, to sort of think that you can now be the emblem of love. Now, it's even more disturbing that we know what we know now and what will come out over the next six to six months to a year. We will really know what actually he has been uh, doing, right, as acts of love. And we'll be able to really know whether this um, word is suitable for him, whether it's just a... a sign and symptom of his, symptom of his grandiosity um, and his total delusion, 
this is an extremely delusional statement and act to do. And that's also what narcissists do because they think themselves to be so great in their own minds and they pursue it. It's, it's just a form of delusion. Um, so, you know, I, I mean, I think Ellen's face is quite clear as well. I think she looks a bit confused. So it's, this is an example of grandiosity and audacity as well. So write in the comments, you know, what you think about that. Um, I'm going to go to another one. Okay. You know what, before I, so this one's really interesting. Uh, I will, I'll do this one as well. Cause it's sort of on the theme of grandiosity. And a lot of stuff that I say y'all all the time, I know y'all taking like, yo, that was hardcore. That's cool. That is the game you in. I am sorry. That is the game you decided to get in. That game is bad when it's a tank. I like fucking them up. You have to know that. Winning, I don't like just to win. I want to win over and over and over. I want to be at the end of the day, I want all of us to be the best. So yeah. That's another example of this grandiosity and also pursuit of fame and power and position. So that's another sign and symptom of narcissism that they are just aggressive, aggressive, aggressively ambitious. They want to be at the top. They will do anything to get there. And so this, there's this, you know, and, and I think what, why he's put this clip on here and I think why so many people probably like it and, you know, have, have, admired him did he up until now perhaps is because of his intensity and his passion and his aggression for 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 you know attaining his goals and that's okay it's it's good to have in passion passion it's good to have ambition it's good to have uh goals it's good to you know drive that's that everything every quality and every per personality trait has right a good a good and a bad right when it tips on the scale too far one way it can be negative and this i believe in conjunction with all of the th other things that we know about him and you know uh, the videos that i'm going to show here is that it really does look like it's tipping on the line of um not you know sort of this narcissistic uh greedy uh aggressive uh, ambition right like uh I, I, I want to be at, I want to be at the top. What did he say? I want to win. I want to win. And, and there's this sense of I'm going to do anything and I'm going to ask you all to do anything to get it also. And so this symptom that narcissists have is this, I will step on anyone's head and do anything and treat anyone the way I want to, as long as it feeds right? My narcissistic supply. As long as it feeds this sense of I am actually godlike, I am the best. And there have been many victims that have been coming out and have got lawsuits against him now talking about how, how disgustingly, right, they were treated. It's hor horrifying to hear what they have gone through. Um, and that's what narcissists do. They will use, abuse and discard people like they are objects purely to get what they want. And that type of drive and ambition with, um, you know, these alleged claims that how he's treated people is really signifying somebody who's extremely dangerous, right? Really sick, really unwell psychologically and very dangerous. So here's the next one. This one's really interesting. Um, this really shows the um, it shows the, the the quality of a narcissist rage, right? Narcissistic rage. So I'll just get into the video. The weekend of fourteenth when the soundtrack comes out. If, if so, bump somebody. I, 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 I love you, man. I'm on MTV. I'm a savage. I'm a savage. Oh, I'm a savage. Whatever I want, I'm going to get. Whatever I want, I have to get. He's making the sure his phone's yes. off. What's next? What's next? He looks like a child. I'm not going to stay fucking down. I'm 
And I'm gonna stay fucking lying down. I'm not, I can't do that, man. I can't do that. What's next? Give me something else. What can't you do? I can do it. I can do anything. Oh, there's someone in the room. <sighs> I didn't realize I didn't realize there was someone in the room there. That's really interesting. Which even you know, I mean, yes, he's aware that there's a camera there. We can see that he's just gone into this rage episode. Now, I think some of it's for performance, right? Because he knows that there's a camera there, and then there's somebody else there also. But there's there's so many things about this video. So many things. First of all, the rage you know the, the the and the suddenness of the switch as well how he was so calm on the phone and nice and pleasant and then he just switched and it went physical as well he's throwing things in the room so there's one right the unstable emotion again we don't know if this was a performance right so it's a bit hard to tell um but we have seen him be violent haven't we really with the other video with with poor cassie um, so anyway, the switch of emotions, the instant rage, the flying off the handles, throwing things, the, uh, what he's saying, he's saying, give me something else. Give me something else. I have to get what I, uh, what I want. I have to get what I want again, right. In the same theme that I was talking about earlier, the audacity, the grandiosity, the delusion, the constant, the aggressive pursuance, the ambition um all playing out here in in one you know what was it 50 second clip right and then also the fact that somebody else was there it, it's it's interesting because and and that person also wasn't even looking at him he was sort of looking the other way and when somebody behaves like that they automatically dominate the space right and this is what abusers do abusers just intimidate through their own behavior, through making people feel uncomfortable by dominating the space. And that's what he's doing. And that person looked quite uncomfortable. Maybe let's just go back. He's not looking at him. Uh, yeah, this, this aggression spewing out, this yelling, it's, it's all a way to manipulate people, right? To dominate. So these are some of these videos looking at his behavior and demeanor. There's one more video that I'll show. And this is not necessarily really about narcissism. Well, it is in one sense because it shows that he really will just do whatever he wants and he thinks that he's gonna get away with it. Um, but this is his inappropriateness with, with young, young children. So this is an old clip. This has been posted by New York Post. What did he do? Uh, what would be did he do? I don't know. Hey, let's ask him. Oh, okay. <laughs> did he? So. We can't wake up Shane. You try symbols? Yep. <laughs> what about sour milk? Didn't work. Tell you what. Take this toy helicopter. So inappropriate. So, so inappropriate. And also just the way he's sitting there, right, on the lounger, you know, kicking back. The air of arrogance, the air of like, you know. And yeah, the inappropriate right suggestion of putting something down a, a kid's pants um that i you know it's really really interesting isn't it when you look back at things and you think how how did that happen how was that even aired how but then you know there are so many things that are coming out about hollywood and how they've treated children and child stars it's really disturbing so again this is just another example uh, of his he thinks that he can just get away with doing whatever he wants uh, and the inappropriateness here, here with children. So that's all for now. If anyone has any other, you know, suggestions or videos that maybe I can react to, and maybe I'll follow up while well, I will be following this story, um, you know, because this stuff is a personal interest of mine, 
you know, I do talk about abuse, talk about narcissism, and I, I look at behavior. Um, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you somewhere online on the internet another day. Bye.